Grand rising to my king, queen, gods, and goddesses. It is your boy, Terrible Wand Star. Got to break it down to all my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. How y'all doing today? Now, this is a general reading, I got to say it. So, if it resonates for, for you and with you, make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe button. And if not, look, you know I try to do the best that I can for all my people out there, okay? It is what it is. Now, so I'm not going to be with you long. Let's go ahead and jump into it with this positive information, the positive facts. Let's go ahead and see what what's going on in the extraterrestrial news because I am your spiritual meteorologist up in this, okay? Now, Virgo, the title of this one is Don't Feel Left Out of the Loop. All lies on you now, so don't feel like you left out of the loop because all eyes are on you, baby. All right. Now, right now, things may be changing for you, Virgo, uh, without your control. Now, but in a good thing, though, because I feel like spirit is aligning things to go more into your favor, okay? Because you've been obedient. You've been following through. I mean, some of you probably have transitioned away from uh, old cycles. Some of you are now being more uh, abundant. Some of you are overcoming over your fears, your doubts, uh, over the obstacles. Some of you are standing up for yourself. Um, not what you say is how you saying it, but you are saying things perfect in perfection, okay? Now, not only that, Virgo, uh, the more you transition with this change, the more you're going to confuse the enemy and confuse the people around you, okay? And the more you hold your position or hold your true character, the more everyone is going to be trying to keep up with you, but you also got some people looking at you like, hey, Virgo, hey, hey, hey. So with that basically being said, Virgo, stand firm and don't let other people's opinionated feelings or opinionated thoughts uh, lead you off your course because of some type of financial strain. Now, some of you may need to hold on to your finances a little bit. Yeah, you you know the holidays coming up for y'all little ones. Some of y'all may uh may uh you know uh support the holidays, some of you may not, but to each his own, okay? But I'm just saying some of you may be overspending, or it may be somebody around you who uh may be overspending that you're getting tired to see, okay? I hate to say it for some of you, uh, but don't let things become uncomfortable, or someone may be uh trying to keep this away from you, Virgo, uh, with the overspending and trying to keep you in disputes and trying to keep you in a lack of confidence and vulnerability so you don't know what somebody's plan is. That's for a small, small few of you as well, okay? But it's time to move away from all the conflicting energy that's around you, Virgo. I'm talking about people, uh, opinionated other people. Somebody may be trying to steer you to go some type... Uh, type of route that they need to go for beneficial gain instead of you, Virgo. So you got to watch that type of energy and watch um, the energy of uh, overspending, okay? Now, even though you can start seeing the light and recovery of your mental health now, Virgo, also adapt to what you need to do with the changes and the choices you need to make in order to move forward, okay? Big things are near for you right now with the right decision on your path. It's all up on you, baby, okay? It's all up on you, Virgo. So with that basically being said, let's go ahead and get in a prayer and a meditation. But first, we're going to work on Garuda Mudra. This helps you in openness, balance, and metabolism. Directs breath and awareness to the neck and throat area. Aligns cervical spine. Releases tension from the neck and jaw, help balance energy and metabolism as well. This is how we do it. Bring the left hand in front of the heart, palm facing the in and the thumb facing upward. Cross the back of the right hand behind the left palm until the thumbs meet. Interlace the thumbs of the fan of the rest of the fingers outward. Bring the mudra up to the throat center, relax shoulders down and align your spine. This is what you focus on very well, okay? I embrace the freedom and openness of my pure expression, okay? S simple. I, ex I embrace the freedom and openness of my pure expression, okay? So let's go ahead and lead this right here. Let's get into prayer. Spirit, guys, and the universe, I just thank you right now for everybody coming to the channel. Ooh, forgive me. Lead us, guide us, give us the blueprint and the understanding towards our highest good and our highest expectation. Now, if anybody wish any ill will, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or spiritually, we're gonna send that back to the universe in abundance of love and not to the sender, okay? So the universe can reciprocate it back to us the right way and the highest good and the highest expectation. I say, I say, amen. So let it be. So mote it be. Bless it be. Let's go. All right, y'all, for the meditation, what we're going to do, y'all already know we're working on freedom, okay? So again, I embrace the freedom of my, I embrace the freedom and openness of my pure expression, okay? That'll help you with communication. So here we go, y'all. What we do, we breathe in positive energy, positive light. We let go of all the negativity. Then we hop in the read and see what's going on, okay? All right, here we go, Virgo. Breathe in, Virgo. Positive energy. Positive light. Full abundance to your highest good and understanding. Now hold it. 
and release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns. Anything that's hindering you, we letting it go. Breathe in, Virgo, positive energy, positive light, full abundance to your highest good and understanding. Now hold it and release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns. Anything that's not suitable for you, we letting it go back to the universe. Very well, Virgo. Breathe in, positive energy, positive light. Full abundance to your highest good and understanding and release out, Virgo, all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns. Anything that's not here for you, we're letting it go back to the universe in abundance of love. Ashe. Ashe. Amen. So let it be. All right, Virgo. All right. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and see what's up with this energy that we got. Uh, what people think and we feeling like we out of the loop. Now, make sure y'all hit that like, comment, subscribe button for me as well. If you don't mind, please. That'll be very, very important for me. And, 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 and thank you so much. All right. Spirit guys in the universe, what is the current energy for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus. Asha. Pick that one up. All right, Virgo. Let's see one more that we got. Let's just take that one out there. I say, I say, I mean. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Right now, Virgo, that what we have for you right now is the Four of Pentacles basically being in reverse. So it is letting me know something that you may be dwelling or something that you are hanging on to probably for too long. Now, it could be a relationship. It could be a job. It could even be the way how you get tired about situation as well. So I feel like some of y'all may be drained about a situation. Or now, not only that, with the four pinnacles, I also feel like right now you not be a you are not able to be stable the way that you need when it comes to uh, educational growth or uh, part of stability with finances. Because some of you may be hanging on tight, but some of you may be hanging on for something for too long that you need to let go of. Any type of addictions, uh, any type of. Uh, attitudes that may be coming into play about your finances Virgo this can be a significant other or just can be dealing with your kids it's something that you are hanging on to uh, for too long in a material world as well that you may need to release as well okay Virgo again I'm strongly on addictions okay it, it's very strong on some type of addictions or it can be overspending or something now because we got to clarify about the two of cups basically being in reverse so you may be dwelling on a past situation or dwelling on some type of energy with some type of secrets of betrayal that came to the past that you cannot get over of or over on okay virgo now this is something that may be significant as well it may be some type of lack of balance why uh why somebody may be having greed for you virgo and may be using love against you for your stability as well okay now the four pinnacles basically being in reverse is clarified by the three of swords upright we also got the world card and the seven of cups basically being in reverse so it's letting me know virgo even though when it comes to stability right now you may be hanging on to some type of third party situation or some type of pain from a third party situation or you may be dwelling on something that you know you need to let go dealing with a third party situation and the reason why Virgo because uh, you gotta let go of these burdens I feel like some of you are starting to progress and see things for the better and start to see things more clearly about a third party situation about somebody who may be putting you in a third party situation and that's why you know you are dwelling us uh, dwelling for so long now this can be a small feel of you some of you probably can't leave right now because the way how the cards is showing me right now that it may be some type of financial strife in order to leave so you may be co-parenting with somebody or a uh, roommate uh, living with each other even though the, the relationship is not there anymore or is void or it's a new new cycle to come in for y'all to, to depart but by you living together it became more of a roommate type of situation and some of y'all going through that adversity as well take it as it resonates now that's one reason why you may not be able to go or it may be a person that's trying to hang on to you Virgo knowing that the other person that may be in a third party situation or the person they probably stranging you along with probably got some type of lack of balance which created this third party or you may be the third wheel just take it or you may be expanding to see things to be better and right now the reason is because the cycle the cycle's moving on Virgo that's what you got to understand the cycle's complete you understand the lessons that you need for you to make a certain choice in your life that's going to be a life changing choice for you going towards your stability going down the long haul long haul of the long road okay virgo now also with the seven of cups basically being in reverse with the higher friend basically being in reverse as well i feel like right now with this lack of commitment or the or the 
choice that you have made or either party has made has created some type of lack thereof of a caution or maybe you put somebody on a pedestal that wasn't leading you anywhere or Virgo it wasn't showing no power or anything like that or even cross watcher take it as resonate the energy can be flipped twist and reversed at the same time okay now not only that let's let's go else and see what we have for Virgo Sun Moon Rising North Node in Venus. But I'm also seeing right now, Virgo, it's a choice that you got to make. Now, some of you could be could have this other person in a third-party situation or you could be in a third-party situation. And now, when I say this, since the Two of Cups is basically being out, it is letting me know it's more significant on a love. That it may be somebody that you know, uh, baby daddy, baby mama, that you may be hanging on to for far too long. Or it can be a relationship that you invested on to and it creating a lot of confusion. Uh, you can't move forward. The, uh, the energy is not moving the way that it used to be because it's confusions, it's doubts, uh, reoccurring cycles that somebody may need to work on and may need to fix as well. Now, not only that, with a third party situation that I was telling you about, Virgo, when you started to lighten the low, it created more options for you, okay? Now, I feel like this person, Libra Aquarius, Jim, and I could have thought that you would have been around about these options, but since you don't pull back and they know you got options or the third party situation that you was in, you let go of the load and like, I'm not dealing with it, but you still stuck in this situation. Now, you know, you got options to move about and it's creating conflicts. Now, I feel like this person that you may be dealing with probably won't let you leave easy. Virgo. They probably are um, narcissistic. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you and now not only that even though the wheels are turning right now for you Virgo The choices you are making to be more adaptable to uh, the go in your environment right now It's hard for you to make plans because I feel like right now you want your want to look out But you feel like it's gonna be unreliable time or a wasted efforts in the moving out Even though it's options for you Virgo and even though you had a person on the on the pedestal right now. Not only that, even though it's something that you cautious about, about no information, no growth, no power that's going on. And the reason why is because you feel like the energy is very naive. It's kind of hard to move with immature, naive energy in, into the null or in something you don't know because it's not going anywhere or you may feel like it's not going nowhere, Virgo, okay? Now take it as it resonates. Let's keep moving. Spirit, guys, and the universe. What do we have for Virgo? Sun, the rising north, northern Venus. 222 two, two can be very significant. I say now I feel like right now Virgo Two of Swords basically being in reverse. So it is letting me know right now. It's an understanding that you probably need to make right now dealing with your life. Okay, Virgo. And the thing about it is what I like about the Two of, uh, the two of Swords basically being in reverse. Even though you're about to stamp down on something that you are no longer like you're making a decision uh, about what you need to do in this, in, in this life path for you in this time. And the reason is because it's clarified by the Five of Swords upright. We got the Ten of Pentacles upright and we also got the Ten of Swords upright. So 10-10 can be very very significant for you as well. 222. Two, two. We also got um now 22. 22 can be very significant for you as well. It's a lot of angel minute meaning numbers, a lot of synchronicities in, in this reading dealing with you making a certain choice, a logical choice, uh, a choice with action, a choice dealing with stability, but it's something that you are hanging on for way too long. Okay, Virgo. Now let's keep going. Now, when I also see this two of swords basically being in reverse with the five of swords, is letting me know you got to understand that people putting you in a crossroad that may be trying to win at all costs around you Virgo it may be trying to keep the conflicting energy around because they see your power now not only that this is something that you may not even be aware about Virgo because the way that you are moving right now right now you're walking in your uh, in your peaceful state you're being humble you're walking in your king of cups you're being very generous in your actions in your walk in the way that everything's going on because right now again even though somebody's trying to win at all costs you are starting to understand what's going on Virgo and you are starting to make an a positive aspect in order to move forward going towards your legacy going forward towards your perfect balance your abundance going towards everything the spirit may be having for you for this new upcoming new upcoming cycle for you as well now not only that is new pinnacles coming in for you now you got to get a divine breakdown about it though virgo this is the understanding and this is what's challenging because even though you're getting to understand to walk over a crossroad yes people are gonna try to win at all costs yes it's gonna be you making mature decisions to be more hopeful more positive Yes.
You're going to have to walk in a very humble type of energy. But the reason why, because in order to get to your legacy, you got to knock down all these walls. And I feel like right now when you knocking down the walls, these are walls of people that's around you that are supposed to be fit for you because there's too many people around you, Virgo. This is why you setting for your legacy, for your abundance. You setting for the new beginnings. You setting for the happy endings. And what's going on is this tower card is shaking people who is uh, only there for greed, who's untrustworthy, people who uh you already know that's not supposed to be in your circle, or people who want to make you feel like you at rock bottom right now while you're turning around going for these new projects you see what i'm saying they take uh you take an initiative going towards your dreams and desires and what they want to do they want to make you feel like you at the bottom they want to make you feel like that you don't have no nowhere else to go but right now with the hermit card clarified by the judgment card basically being in reverse right now you going in in clarity to uh going back in clarity in isolation to see what moves that you made was wrong it's like how you looking at a chessboard piece before you put somebody in checkmate you want to make sure that the strategy or the strategic way that you're moving is accurate virgo and i feel like somebody trying to put you in this place but i feel like spirit gave you the understanding to un to know that anything that's toxic anything that that's that you need to resist okay now it, it is gemini it is a, a full moon in gemini or a new moon in gemini is one of them but you got to realize right now you may be conflicting energies you may be going teeter totter back and forth with some type of emotions or maybe this is the energy around you that people may be trying to do as well around you as well so I feel like right now you need to focus on yourself and then act. So some of you are focusing on your legacy. Some of you are not even paying attention to any of this type of energy for some of you because some some of y'all is going through your shadow moment, uh, the dark soul moment. So that's what some of y'all going through right now. Some of y'all going through shadow work. Some of y'all are uh, going through the darkness to understand right now. You may be in a null, but you are seeing all the signs that you need in order to get yourself forward. Not nobody else, Virgo, but yourself. So now you are starting to see a lot of things that's going on around you once you start paying attention to the signs. What else do we have for Virgo? Right now, Virgo, five of swords basically being in reverse. You finding some type of resolution that you may be going through with this conflicting energy and trying to find a logical way of changing. You will start to communicate more against these people and these adversities. You stamp down on what you said, what you stand on and what you believe in. And right now, it's creating other people uh, delays and failures. Even though you being hesitant about your journey with the Six of Pentacles, you may be on a one-sided journey right now. You may be transitioned, being in transition to start giving people what they need because you being more inspired in yourself and being more courageous, which is creating other people around you to see the growth or really the, the real side or the soul within themselves of what they're going through in their life when you come around. And this will lead you to your abundance. And this is what leads you to unity, uh, happy endings. Not only that, what you don't see coming right now, Seven of Pentacles basically being in reverse. I feel like somebody's trying to rush you so you can't receive your happiness. Some of y'all are becoming more abundant, more stable financially, emotionally stable, where you start being self-love and self-independence. And you're walking away from anything and everything that's not suitable for you because you found this self-discovery within yourself. And you know your value and you know your worth. Virgo, very, very beautiful energy. Also, Virgo, happy endings are coming in for you, okay? Now, it is coming in. Main thing that you got to do right now, you got to trust yourself. Because right now, I know it's rivalry around. People may be jealous of you. People may be trying to keep up with you. But you cannot fall into the trap towards your happy ending, but towards your uh, towards your growth and your expansion emotionally, okay? Right now, it's some people that you can't trust. You already know. And the thing, what you need to do, some of y'all already done done it. You sailed on and moved on for brighter waters to brighter shores for your life and abundance to start moving forward. Right now, no information, no power, no growth that you may have been feeling around being any type of energy that's going on right now in your life. And right now you're feeling very vulnerable. Somebody may be feeling vulnerable, emotionally unstable, or maybe going through some emotional instability right now while the changes are going. It, it, it's just a change cycle. It has to happen with the world card, Virgo. And I feel like some of y'all realizing that and what you're doing now, again, you're getting the understanding to do what you need to do and make the choices and decisions that you need to make and stamp on it. One more before we up out of here with the moon card. Uh, it will give you a lot of uh, intuitive energy right now between the secrets that you need to help yourself or secrets may be coming out or any type of illusions, you probably can start to see the veil on. Make sure you keep yourself balanced and keep yourself intuitive to know to dig deep within yourself so you can see all the signs dealing with other people because all lies on you now, Virgo. They think you know. Some people think you know something. Some people don't. Some people don't know you don't know that you know something. You know, take it as it go. But what they're basically being said, though, 
I'm just go ahead and almost close this out. Right now, you just got to be honest with yourself and the choices and decisions that you want to make in your life, Virgo, towards your positive growth and your positive abundance. And that's just one way to say it. So let's go ahead and go and do it like this. All right. Right now, I attract only positive, supportive, fun-loving people in my life. I say. Now, the other one is my body let me know what it needs. My body definitely let me know what it needs, when it needs it. I say, I say, I man. All right, the other one is I receive money every day. I receive money every day. I say, I say, I say. Now, uh, another one is I attract more money than I need. I attract more money than I need. I say, I say. And I feel a good about myself just as I am. I feel good about myself just as I I am, I say, I say. Now, with that basically being said, Virgo, now that is your reading. If you want a personal reading, it will be in the description box below. So I just want to tell all y'all beautiful vessels, like y'all doing good, the energy's feeling great, uh, even though you may not know what's going on, but now you do. Some of you intuitive, intuitively enough to know what's going on, but this is dealing with your blessings during the season, your cycles are everything, what you need. People's trying to come in, but you already know how to handle that, okay? So with that basically being said, peace, love, and light, light, love, and peace. I love you. God love you the universe love you make sure you love who yourself that's the most important thing on the channel until i see y'all beautiful souls and y'all beautiful vessels till the next time peace love and light light love and peace i say i say i'm in baby yeah